more surreal because John Joya, my, my good friend and former colleague, just instructed me to be brief. So I don't know. <laughs> it's all relative, so I've got a half hour or so. Um, I just want to say when Chanel told me that Joan wanted to call me personally about a month ago, and I was in D.C., and I took the call, um, and she told me, uh, I, I was speechless, and I've got to say, happy for you, but pretty depressed for all of us. Um, you, can you, you got to do the finger thing for me one more time. <laughs> for a long time, I've said that Joan, Joan is the, the, the Zarina of the Joan. ladies of the index finger. <laughs> do what you do to all of us. But, <laughs> well, she comes up slower like this and goes, Mark. Or John, how many times have you had that done to you? 25 years ago when I met Joan and Sonny McPeak's back here somewhere, when I was fortunate enough to try to fill Sonny's shoes, um, Joan would hang around sort of finding out who's this guy from Concord and how is he going to possibly try to fill the shoes of Sonny McPeak, which I couldn't possibly. But I have come to, as all of us, uh, deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate Joan, her spirit, her soul. She's unbelievable. Um, and we need some young people out here to step up and be the kind of person Joan's been for the whole community. You know, when I see what's going on in the country and I deal with a lot of crazy things in D.C., I, I get concerned about the future of the country. But then I think of people like Joan, and Joan's the reason why America will be okay. Woo! Yeah. So, as much as I'm pissed about leaving you, Chuck told me that he's already called my colleague Al Green in Houston to tell him, tell them that they've got a great volunteer. So I'm going to tell. Him, I know a volunteer. I'm going to tell Al when I see him next week. And Al, I'm proud to have been a co-author of three impeachment papers that he's endorsed. I've got.